Hello everyone, welcome to a new series on my channel, it's the Spyro 2 Prototype Highlight. So, I'm Spyro Jonathan, and yeah, you just get treated to uh, a black screen when you start, and then this is the uh, power screen, this is all you get. So yeah, I completed the game myself, but yeah, it says level 30, but we're going to start a new game. So, we'll start it right here right now, and yeah. Here's the cutscenes, first cutscenes, and then we'll get into more stuff. Is this rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty North's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Okay, I don't know what's up with that wall there and Sparks is grey and he's the Spyro 1 style. Okay, yeah, it starts off like that though. I don't know why that's so funny with the skybox. Um, is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's books. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. <coughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and we know it. It's working. It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Are you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Ah! Ow! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalon. It'll help you begin to understand our world. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Fort, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? All right, there we go. That's the cutscenes, and yeah, so funny without the music. So yeah, I didn't even say yet. This is the August eleventh, nineteen ninety nine prototype that came out a while ago. So yeah, here we are. Start off with Gummer, and yeah, I'm gonna be showing the uh, the prototype highlights in the series, um, just like I did with Stuart Level Two a few months ago. But I'm gonna make this multiple videos. So yeah, I'll be showing the highlights. So yeah, so right away, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be. Showing the best parts that I can find. Um, there's probably a lot of gem um, placements, different placements. Um, but like, yeah, there's no gems here right away. So, don't know what's with the music. It keeps stopping and starting. Um, so yeah. But yeah, the folks are still here right now. Um, but yeah, so I imagine, yeah, here are the gem here are the gems now. There's lots of um, differences. Yeah, it's weird how the music keeps stopping and starting a lot. Um, but yeah, double jump still here because double jump. I think. Whoa, went right into the camera. There. Um, it was always in the game, like even in the earliest prototypes. I even, I, I believe, like some E three footage or like, well, I don't think it actually was E three footage, but it was like even earlier than what was actually at E three. Um, but I, I believe I saw. I kind of saw it. it 
the double jump is kind of happening that I remember. But uh, yeah, hopefully this is going to be a fun series, um, so I'm just going to show what I can find really, um, and just really have fun with this and give us some interesting cutscenes with Aurora. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do this on my channel for a while, so yeah, hope you all enjoy this and yeah, let's cut to um, the first things I can find here. Um, and yeah, if I notice any gem placements, then I'll point those out as well, but I think these are here. So I could double jump, but I think I'll go for it normally. So I uh, guess yeah, see you to what I can find uh, first now. So see you there. Oh, that way bird that was so kind of like stuck there a bit. I think that's probably a bit wrong. Um, so yeah, the dialogue seems to be all the same uh, so far, but I will be pointing out like if there's some um, specific dialogue that's different or like new dialogue. So. There's going to be some interesting things in this coming up, so can't wait to show it all, so yeah. I don't actually remember that there are one of the dogs, I wonder if that's new, actually. Yeah, I feel like the way Sparrow Charges looks a bit different in this, it looks like his Sparrow 1 animation still, but it kind of looks like that in the earlier demos of Sparrow 2 as well, so... And uh, yeah, we could... I should probably, like, do this the correct way, but I guess it doesn't really matter, like, because this is just a prototype highlight series, so I can just, you know, door jump up here and so oh no, I didn't even make it damn it so uh, yeah I can just get up here like that so um, yeah I guess we'll, we'll do it that way there we go now, now I got up so oh I've already got the uh, um the thing active wait how many how many enemies did, did I have um yeah the pause screen's gonna look a bit different in the guidebook might as well show this now yeah a bit different fonts and like all this is kind of um, weird, so, but I guess I'll get to show more of a sweater. Um, and skill points aren't in this prototype yet at all, so they hadn't put them in yet. So that's interesting. Okay, I got I got eleven. So oh wait, but the twenty-five gem in there. I had no idea. Okay, that is the difference. I had no idea there was a twenty-five gem in this level. I didn't even remember that. So that's that's very really cool. I think that will be the same dialogue as well. Um, they yeah, keep switching between two hours of dialogue here, but yeah, that's interesting, right? That's the first time we're ever seeing a 25 gem in this level. Like, that's never happened before, so that's really cool. Like, it was here originally, like, at least at this point. Um, but yeah, we'd love to get even earlier prototypes as far as you, if they're out there, if they're scored one day. So, I uh, hope we do, but for now, I'm, I decided to do this series on my channel, so I hope you all enjoy it. Oh, this is interesting, getting an AWP, like it does this, it does that sound all the time, it doesn't do the ding ding ding, like, like a gem would, it would sound like a gem in the full game, which I think was the better choice, because it just keep on doing that like glowy sound effect, if you want to call it that, it doesn't actually, doesn't sound, doesn't sound right, but every time it bounces it dings, that makes more sense, so there we go. Oh, oh yeah, that, the, probably the reason why that 25 gem was there, we just got it. Up there is because there wasn't any gems at the start, maybe, and like, so it's interesting they weren't planning to put gems at the start, like right behind you. So, oh, you're getting the talisman, it's the same, but here it's Skillless Bad Ones Skybox. So, yeah, that's the same dialogue. But yeah, I saw this in like in like early IGN footage or something, like from a September build or something, it said. So, like, I wouldn't I wondered why it was Skelos Bad Ones Paul um here, but yeah, it's it's weird it is. Like it just feels like it's wrong at this point. I don't think that was intentional at all, like because it, it doesn't make any sense, so yeah, very funny. Oh yeah, I feel like Sparks doesn't pick up gems from like too far away. Like yeah, you have to get really close to them, like that's the thing. Just like in Sparrow 1, like, because yeah, Spark has model is still Sparrow 1 model, but he is um you know, a bit more glowier, but then they fully decided to change him, and yeah, I'm glad I did, because he looks more cuter, his final um, version, but it's so funny they were still using um, his Sparrow 1 model at this point. That's interesting, I don't even remember this line of dialogue, so I don't know if maybe it's new, right? Um, yeah, I feel like I would remember that, um, but it's been a while since I've fully played through Sparrow 2, um, so yeah. Oh yeah, you can skip the orb with X, right? You couldn't do it in the full game. You had to skip it with star. So you can actually skip the orb animation with 
graphics in this prototype, so that's an interesting thing as well. Well, that's weird, like, he got kind of stuck poor him, like, when going up the, the whirlwind, so... Um, well, there we go, we get 400 out of 400, like, that on the screen, and, yeah, doesn't have, um, yeah, like, a, like, overlay bar, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, bullet, so um, I guess, yeah, underneath it is what I meant. So, but this seems all the same so far, so yeah, just tell you how to do that, that's all fine. So, um, yeah, I might miss some gem placements, like, I don't know if they're kind of minor thing. I'll point out the most, if I notice them, um, like the 25 gem in this level, that was cool. But, like, if, um, I might not point out every gem placement, so if you're interested, you can play this yourself, this prototype, you can download it um, on Hidden Palace and you can um, also check out other videos on, it, on on YouTube if you want to see everything but I'm just going to be showing off the prototype, you know, all the highlights in this prototype hence the uh, series name, so yeah um, Oh, you actually can't skip it with start, you can only skip it with that because I just tried doing start and it didn't work so there you go and just keep skipping you them so that's the same in the full game as well. So, you know, too many differences in this first level in Glimmer. Yeah, of course, you can get to here from here as well and run around the hills. This is always fun. But yeah, no gems at the start, like, which is something I didn't even remember when I played through this for the first time. But yeah, we got all the gems. Um, in fact, yeah, I'll show the guidebook. Oh, yeah, and also if you press select, it just immediately puts you on the guidebook like that. It doesn't bring up the hood. Yeah, 100% for coming out, and I didn't even need to backtrack because I can just double jump and might as well do it that way anyway. Um, so, but yeah, I might, might, might come back here anyway to see what they say about the um, the dialogue, um, see if that's any different. But yeah, I don't know if that's not all the same, like, names of the orbs, like, I, I guess it would be, like, this is, first of all, um, so I think that's all good there. Um, so it just says save complete, it doesn't like do any sound stuff for that. So yeah, it's um is that is that alright, like right, the camera? Be knowing that I'm not actually sure. Um I should check. Yeah, I don't think we'll miss with that. So now it's we're done here, so let's head on head on off to uh Summer Forest now. It's already loading and we're already here, there's no cutscene, there's no like thing about that, so oh yeah, but I just realized we we there's still the cutscene, the ending cutscene of Grammar, so I think if I go back in give us gems here right away, I don't think that uh, um are they um yeah, if we go back in it we should get the ending cutscene as well. I'll try and get that right now. Good job, Spyro. Now that you've taught the lizards how to behave themselves. Gem cutters don't have to worry about anyone stealing their jewels. They can go back to work harvesting and polishing gems for the rest of Avalar. They're even trying to train the lizards to help out, so that may be expecting a little too much from some of them. Oh my god, there we go. Like, I, all I did was replay the intro when going back in stuff and I got that. That's weird. So I didn't get it when going out. Um, yeah, it's weird, that's very weird did that, and yeah, Laura has dialogue for the cutscenes, like, they took all that out, and yeah, I remember everyone being so amazed when they found out about this, um, but it makes sense, because she did do dialogue in the Japanese version for the cutscenes, so, yeah, that's really interesting, um, oh, that's weird, so you don't get the cutscene when coming out, but you only get it when going back in, and if you replay the intro, that's so weird. Because it doesn't have an intro, it has an ending. It only has an ending cutscene for come out. So yeah, that's very really interesting. So now it's summer for us next here. So let's go through the first part of this, see what we can find, and uh, go through Isle Springs and Crosses as, as, as well. So let's do that. Alright, here we are in Summer Forest. So yeah, wait, is this has this moved up here? Like the jar? Oh, it's right near the wall. That's very interesting. So you might not be able to point out every difference find, but I'll try and find the best ones and get yeah, Scummer here again playing. Yeah, that water looks weird going down like that. 
um, looks more like, um, like the goo that you die in, like, it doesn't look like actual water, but in Spar 3 they did make the waterfalls be more like this type of water. So it's weird how they did it in this game though, so they hadn't quite figured that out yet or something. Um, that's always something I noticed, so yeah, um, yeah it's still not still appears here, but I remember seeing an early screenshot it was money bags here, for some reason. Um, I guess he was using a placeholder instead of Hunter, I think that's what, what people um, theorised about that. So uh, yeah, that's still 25 gem there. Um, actually, I think we'll do Colossus first because um, yeah, we need to get swim properly for Isle Springs, so um, yeah. Okay, I think these two gems here are different because they would be on the side of the Colossus ball here, so that's interesting as well. Noticed those um, different placements there, so. Wait, there was a weird sound he jumped for. Yeah, pretty sure that sound effect is not in the full game. Um, when he jumps here, like, what? I would notice these things, so. Yeah, that's something. I, I kind of forgot about this because I haven't done this in a while, so. Yeah. Um, it feels good to skip the odd with X. I don't know why they changed it to um, start in the full game, but yeah, well, I kind of got right on top of them now, like. Kind of climbing on top of him, what the hell? Don't know if he could. I feel like that's something you would be able to do in the final as well. Anyway, though, whoa, what's going on here? I'm turning the camera and flying at the same time. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're going across this now. I think I've got everything I could get so far, but oh, wait, that's something to point out because it's called Summer Castle in this. So, yeah, on this challenge. Yeah, Summer Castle, it, it was going to be called that, and then I guess like this part is. Summer Castle, and then, oh no, like this part's meant to be Summer Forest, and then when you get in the castle part, it's meant to be Summer Castle or something like that. So, yeah, Skybox of Horikos. Um, not Horikos, Colossus, like, yeah, there's like greyness in the distance start. Oh no, it didn't save, oh well. Pirates, this is Colossus. The monks who live here spent most of their time chanting and meditating until a ferocious Yeti came down from the mountains and took up residence in the temple. Even worse. Keep the Yeti from rampaging through Colossus, the monks have to keep him well fed. Yep, Yetis will eat anything. Oh great, it's, it's cool that she explains it, explains it, but like, it's like we, she doesn't need to, so yeah, that, that seems to be all the same. So um, yeah, um, just so I can, can see why we took it out, but she still does do it in the Japanese version though, like give um, yeah, dialogue for the levels in the opening cutscenes, so yeah, it's it's cool to still hear it though, um, now and because never heard it before. So obviously it's weird. So I'm glad to be uh, finally getting to do this on my channel, um, because it's been a few years since this came out. But yeah, now um, got to get, get getting to it now after all this time. So yeah, I always feel like this was meant to be an entrance, a doorway, like to get in there. But like it's just the way it looks, like but then sealed it off. So maybe that was the original plan. Like, like, that's just something I've always had a theory on, but like, there's nothing that's ever proved that, like, no prototype for it or images have ever shown it, and it's still like this in the final, so... Oh, she doesn't actually say this here, so that's that's weird, like, this, she didn't actually have dialogue for that, like, there, there simply was no voice for her there, so... Yeah, it's really interesting, um, again, Zoe still stays in Sparrow 2, like, in Sparrow 3 she would disappear to Sparkle, but she, like, she stays here. Like, her mother stays, um, in Sparrow 2, so, just like, um, well, yeah, kind of like the ones in Sparrow 1 a bit, mm, although they kind of disappear, don't they? They're only there for a bit on the pad, so, Dragon Pad, um, so yeah. I don't know if it was just me, but like it looked like the wife chair didn't even like look shiny or anything. It didn't look like it was actual glass, like properly. I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah, it just looked really see through. So remember Hunter's advice: you will glide farthest if you press X at the very top of your jump. 
Ah, she says that in this voice here, right? It's like they had different voice actors for her, but this is a different voice for at this point. Like, yeah, it's like she says it in a different way that um, Rimmer's Hunter's advice. So, uh, yeah. But I guess they're just assuming you did a tutorial at this point before you went to a subtle. Like, because you could just get to a subtle before you even did that, I guess. So, that's very funny. Um, yeah, still can't skip the talisman store, that's something you couldn't do anyway, so um yeah. The skybox is a little bit different with the like grey and it's like a mountain in it. Like over there, like that yeah, that seems a bit different to me. Um yeah, it's very white down there as well, so Return when your mind is calm, Spyro. I don't remember that dialogue at all, so like some of this might be new. Alright, and give yeah, this is different, it actually shows a blue puck as the um the spray, yeah, it has blue and red pucks, it's not um sparrow in the Yeti's face yet. And it was like this in the earlier build as well, so it's cool. It is still like this in this one, but yeah, I would love to um see what even earlier builds of Sparrow 2 was like. So Okay, so here he is and yeah, I'm doing this now. Oh, they, they just put them in song one. Oh, wait, my, it still said I had like five goals, man. It counted them down. But yeah, it's it's like this and this. Oh no. But yes, game still feels um the same. I guess. Like, I'm not really noticing. Oh, well, I got it anyway. Right, he made me spit in wild. But yeah, it doesn't actually matter if we get five or not because, um, yeah, there is no skill points in this yet. So, might as well. Let's want to let him have a go actually, um, to show it off because it doesn't matter. Or well, maybe I should fail it as well to see if there's anything different, um, actually, so. Okay, well, yeah, he got a goal, but it seems like he gets them in just as easily, um, so. Yeah, they'll jump out of the arena, otherwise it'll quit, but yeah, the music keeps stopping and starting here as well, so. It's really interesting, um, how to start. Too tough for you, eh? Oh, I somehow got it in there where it sort of glitched a bit, but you wait, yeah, he starts going, that seems normal as well. So, yeah, he already has two, but you yeah, don't need to worry about skill points here. Oh no, I didn't even get it. Oh wait, did he go through the wall there? Oh, I go through the wall. Don't know. Yes, I made it into the wow, I I don't know I don't know how I did that, but I got past him and then Oh wait, no, it's stuck here, what the hell? Oh no. It is stuck here, why? Wait, can I pick it up? It's stuck. No, what happened? Oh no, it's uh okay, well it is a prototype and yeah, stuff like this can happen. He's trying to go for it. Um nothing is happening unless I can get from here. I don't know why it got stuck there. No, this is, that's annoying. It's nearly done. Um, I do have a safe state so I can just try again. Um, because I was doing well. Um, okay, this time it threw. Okay, good. Ah, oh, went in his goal. I wasn't even trying to do that. Um, yeah, get away. Okay. Yeah, safe state's helping me out here. Might, might as well just use them. <laughs> um, to get a stun. Pretty good. But he was really pushing me there, but he, he didn't try to like knock me. Okay, he threw it again. Wow. Yeah, he threw the ice puck, um, the puck again. Yeah. Oh, it got stuck there again. Okay, I don't know what's up with this. So that's funny that happens. Um, but there we go. That's ice hockey. Again, he spits it out if he tries to go away with that puck here. So still, I can get out to here. I don't know if you could do that as easily. Um, getting out to here in the game but I, I think it seems to be the same. Um Oh thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away but now it will hide in the statues if you were to flame Oh that's weird his dialogue just coughed there by itself. Um I don't know why that happened. Yeah just like gives up why he just stop so weird. Yeah. 
Hey wait, I, re I realised there's something with this penguin, like, you know, it's it, it's probably like what Sergeant Bird's model is actually based off of, actually. I like, guess this one is just bigger, but like it says it says Sergeant Bird's dying sound effect. But like in this prototype, but in the full game I'm pretty sure it's just his like hurting sound effect, like why like I don't know. Yeah, that isn't noticed that is a difference I've noticed. They're actually using Sergeant Bird's death. Down sound effect. So yeah, like for this penguin in this level was always like um yeah what he was based off of and that's really interesting. So wow. I don't know why they changed that sound effect. That's such a weird thing to change, but there you go, and they re they reused those sound effects in Spare 3 for Sergeant Bird, so wow. That's actually really, really funny, so wow. Oh, that's weird, the spirit was still there for a second, like, I came back to it and it's like, it was still flying above it, so... Oh, there we go, that's cost us done, 400 and all three orbs, so... I don't know if they actually, um, say anything different, as uh, some of these might, but, um, yeah, come here as well. Yeah, it says it's some of castle on here on scan, so... Yeah, I guess we'll go, um, yeah, we'll exit, see if we could see them and go... I think that's, um, oh no, we need to go to Isle Springs next, yes, right as well, so we'll go right there. Although I just realised it says 12 out of 13 enemies on the spirit pack or so, did I miss one? Um, better have a quick check to see. No, I'm pretty sure there isn't 13 enemies, it just says that for some reason, so well that's done, it. Spyro. Now the monks can go back to more important things, like chanting and moving large objects with their thumbs. Here you can see how the apprentice monk learned from the master. It takes a lot of concentration to move objects as big as these carved heads. And they don't often get it right the first time. Oh, so, so interesting to hear her tell us all this and explain it all to us now. So, yeah, if this is how it was going to be, I don't know why it's doing a saver, but I guess it doesn't work properly, um, because it's a prototype. I guess that's why. I don't know, but, oh, he says D-pad, but he said the directional button there, so, um, it says directional button, but he said D-pad. Um, right, now we're going to go in the Idle Springs, so here we are. The workers of Idle Springs are famous throughout Avalar for the statues they carve. But now, some of these statues have been coming to life, scaring the workers and stealing their food. As always, the workers are trying to make the best of things, but usually a statue is just a statue. Oh, it looks like the heart was already broken, but then, like, yeah, that's so funny. Spiral, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Oh, but then he literally tells you about that there, so it's like they didn't need a word to tell, yeah, that. But now, yeah, this is a really big interesting difference because of the guy here, like, what the hell? So this is a big difference. Cossus Mineral Springs! Ah, so, yeah, this, that proves this was called Cossus Springs originally, and... And that's all he says, and he's just here, and wow. It was just got rid of him, like they thought he wasn't needed here or something, so. Like, yeah, I can't believe it. Um, oh, yeah, I can't get up to that, but. Well, I think I could, but. you like, when. Oh, yeah, when you start swimming. Ah, you don't. Like, he stops and then he starts going. Like, I'm holding down charge, but he's not doing it. Well, the water sounds like more of an effect as well. Like, the water. Wait, the swimming underwater, it sounds wilder than the... The sound effect sounds wilder than the music. Oh, that fish just pushed me, okay. Yeah, it was like this in some early demos of Spyro 2 as well, so I'm not surprised that it's still like that, where you, you just totally in charge and he doesn't start properly... Going, like, he goes under, but he doesn't start charging right away, so... Yeah, really interesting. Oh, these gems are more in the ground here, um... So, wow. Uh, okay, for some reason there's a hole in the roof that, like, is it like that in the full game? Like, what's the point of, why did they want to have it like that, like, maybe there was going to be a whirlwind that took took you up from here, I don't know. Because why would they have a hole in the roof, um, but you can get up there with a proxy here, but, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's weird here, if you keep talking to me, he keep, like, getting zapped by Zoe, so it's as if you just did it, like, I think it's like this in the full game as well, though, so they didn't... 
even bother changing that. Oh, I can actually stand on the box. Wait, what? Um, I thought you just like went off of it. Oh, wait. So you can't even do the the proxy here, wait, because you meant to. That's interesting. Like you meant to swap off of it. It's not meant to be walkable. Like that's that's really interesting because you can do a proxy jump like where you charge onto the box like that and then jump off it, but you can't even do it in this prototype. So, wow, this. <laughs> It's like the prototype is more fixed than the full game, and I've said that before about other ones again, right before, like, so that's, that's weird, and you would be able to get up high to the sky, but you can't here, wow. Well, there's a lot more red fish coming out here, like, there's hardly any, yeah, there isn't, like, tons of red fish, what? Like, they made this harder originally, or, like? Give us so many red ones. What the hell is this? This is kind of crazy. Um. Okay, now there's starting to be more blue and orange ones. But yeah, it's all okay. There we go. But first, yeah. At first it was like, yeah, tons of red ones. Wait, like, well, I'm still in that angle, but... Oh yeah, do it again. So he's up you again, but I'm pretty sure that's like this in the full game you can do that, isn't it? I don't actually think they changed that, I think if I'm correct, but yeah, it's annoying the music keeps stopping and starting, but I mean, because like I'm not doing this, um, because I'm doing this as a prototype highlight series, it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to keep going to the next thing anyway, so if I was doing the full playthrough of this, like properly, like a let's play style, then um, yeah, it would be a more of a problem, and oh yeah, this doesn't make a sound effect when you hear that. Okay, that's cool, I just noticed that there by double jumping up there, so there we go, that's another thing. Yeah, that death animation, uh, like, uh, hurting animation is only in this game where he spins around. Like, that's... I, th I think that's not even seen in Spyro 3 at all. So, if yeah, you only use it here, that's kind of interesting. And this looks like teeth of the statue, um, of the, of the, of the face of it. Going through, I never really, right, really noticed that. It's like teeth. Yeah, that's cool. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Oh, the camera didn't change when I did the last one now. Yeah, in the full game it would, um, the camera would pan around at that point, like when you jump on the final green stone. Okay, now it's like, now it would be like, um, collision. Like, yeah, you should be able to, like, bounce in it or something. I, I don't know, like, if it would work. Um, I'm gonna try it. No, too far away. No, I just kind of curve off of it and then that's it. Well, that was weird. The fishies was swinging into the wall there, like, so maybe they're not fully right yet, or they're getting stuck in places, so. Yeah, I don't, don't know what's up with that. Um, also, they seem a lot darker underwater. Like, they seem like the effect of the war is like making them um, a lighter colour. I don't know, like, in the full game, I feel like they're not like this, but I could be wrong, but that could be something. Um, okay, it's weird now, more of the song is actually playing, but before it would keep like getting stuck on like first part and then it would re just restart, but now maybe it's because it knew we had dialogue to hear in the level or. I don't know why that happens, really. Um, yeah, now the music's fine now. I don't know what's up with that. Um, yeah, really interesting stuff. Um, oh yeah, this is the thing I've just noticed. If you try and... Did I already show this? But yeah, if you flame in charge, right, it just stops his flame. Like, we fixed this in the full game. And it was like this in demo as well. So yeah, it just stops his flame to... Soon if you try to quickly charge afterwards. So yeah. Oh yeah, this guy was originally going to talk, like, there was a thing in the early trailer that said, yeah, press triangle to talk to him, so he could talk to him originally, but they already got rid of that at this point, and this doorway is still shut, but this was open, like, here, in the early trailer. It's also, yeah, it's kind of crazy.
Oh, yeah, there's no song for this yet, like, when they dancing around them and kill him, so the music for this doesn't exist, so, yet. Oh, it was taking a long time to do it, the camera was keeping on going, whoa, okay. Yes, I've only has two orbs, so yeah, if I bring up the, the gap guidebook, um, yeah, only two for the solar suits. Weird how they did that, like, some levels had two and some levels have three or four. So it was never like, you didn't really know it was going to be, um, you didn't know, yeah, all levels aren't unified or something, um, with the same amount. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, and that's the thing at this point, there is no Sparks find. The Spark Finder is not in the game yet, as far as I can tell. And like, whoa, why did the camera like, just, um, go right forward there? But, um, that's weird. Kind of left them behind, or left the camera behind. Um, yeah, so we have to find gems ourselves, basically. But, yeah, there's a few gem placement differences in some levels I know of. Um, but, yeah, most, like, for most part, I feel like a lot of the gems are where they are in the full game, so they only change like a few of them. But yeah. Oh, that's funny, you can actually get on this part and walk on it, but um, how far can you, can you walk? Like, I don't know if it's. It seems like a bit odd. Um, I don't know if you could. Wait. Can I get on here? Yeah, you can. But yeah, as we know, this would usually be the skill point, so I kind of made myself go a bit higher but yeah no like guess they just didn't think of this yet or maybe they were thinking about it but not put it in the game yet could be that as well but yeah no skill point yet for going on that top of the aisle so there you go there's no point really trying to go for um trying to show the skill points because you just don't get them so yeah well that's cool that the spin jump there to get up here so yeah, you can do the spin jump in Spar 2 as well. It works. How it does in Spar 3, but it's more useful in Spar 3, I think. So. But it's just a bunch of 10s and 5s uh, in that. Wait, is that usually how it is? But. Yeah, I think that's everything for the soul. Yeah, there we go. 400 out of 400. And. Yeah, seems to be, it doesn't say level complete though, it doesn't do that thing, so um, yeah, I guess that's it for this one. Yeah, 100% and there we go, the two um, orbs and all gems, so that's it for Idle Springs as well. So I guess that's it for this part, so yeah, we'll exit and that's it. Way to go, Spyro! Now the workers can get back to their jobs. Even more importantly, they can get to their food. Yep. Workers love their barbecues, but they better keep an eye out for hungry idols. Yeah, before I end the park, I thought I would go through this section and yeah, the gems seem hard to get, so I don't want to be too fast. Like, Sparks just isn't picking up enough and yeah, like, yeah, this is, this is um, bouncing around here and he correct it, so, uh, um, yeah, it doesn't make that sound effect. Um, just keeps doing that, so I'm glad they changed it. Um, just like when you're given one from completing a challenge, well, what happened there? Like, went away or something. Um, yeah, it was weird what happened there, but, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, I guess everything's the same in here, is it? Is it all the same? Um, yeah. It feels like there's big gaps in the in the ground, though. I don't know what's up with that, but that's very interesting. It's interesting that's what the waterfall looked like in this game. Out in Spar 3, they made it more quake. This? I don't know, but, like, in Isle Springs, there was a waterfall, um, you know, and they had that secret kind of area, um, so, and it did look like that, so I don't know, it was just, I guess, just design choices. Um, I guess they could have made it look like the proper water as well, but they decided not to go with that here. Um, maybe it's because they made this first, and I don't know, maybe something like that happened. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool double jump, I just did that, but... Yeah, I think that's everything for here for now. Um, 
So I think we'll start off in Sunny Beach next. Alright, so I think I'm going to end off here and we'll start off with Sunny Beach in the next part. So thanks so much for watching this first part of Sparrow 2 Prototype Highlights on my channel. I'm Sparrow Jonathan as always and yeah, we'll be showing, showcasing more of like the rest of um, this home world off in the next part, starting with Sunny Beach. So yeah, there's only going to be a few parts, but I'm going to be showing the highlights as always and yeah, see what we can find in the next um, few levels here. So thanks so much for watching Scanbro, hope you enjoy that and I'll see you all next time for more. So see you next time, goodbye for now.